Okay, so in the first tutorial, I showed you how to create a basic app with Figma using uh, text, shapes, images, and just to kind of get used to the overall interface here. Now, of course, part of an app is getting interaction from the user and allowing them to tap and swipe and go to different screens. So the next thing I wanna show you is how to create a new screen, which they call frames here. So to create a new frame, just go ahead, click up here to the frame channel. And then over here on the right is where you get to choose what size you want their next frame to be. Now, because this was an iPhone 11 Pro slash X, I'm gonna to wanna to make the same size of frame for the next one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tap here and that's gonna create a new frame over here on the right. I can make it as close or as far away as I want to, uh, just to kind of give you guys some space to, to see them both. You can also choose this hand tool to kind of move around your whole canvas if you need to, and then choose that move tool again to move the specific item or frame around as needed. Now, um, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is decide what the user will want to do on the next frame. And so in this case, uh, I think what I would want to do is to create a form for the user to fill out so that we can ask them some characteristics about their pet that we can generate a name for the pet. And so let's go ahead and give it some text and I will just write, um, give us some characteristics about your pet. And so I'm gonna go ahead and make this a little bit larger over here in the design portion. I can make it up to, you know, maybe 36, it's pretty big. And of course I can move it around, resize it and, and all that kind of stuff. And so say I wanted uh, the user to input, let's go ahead and say, um, you know, color of fur. Like if I wanted to ask them maybe what color their pet's fur was, I'm gonna make these a little bit smaller um, and then what I'm gonna do is maybe create um, a line or a box, let's do a rectangle, um, that allows them to put their answer into. Now this is a prototype, it won't actually work. It's just a kind of little quick form to let them you know, interact with it. I'll make it kind of um, gray and then I'll give it a stroke of you know, a little bit heavier. There we go. And uh, there we go. So now when the user wants to type in a color, I can have them do that. Now again, I can center all these things uh, using these uh, design properties and make sure everything looks nice. Now I can just go ahead and take those items, do a command C and copy, and then do a command V and paste and make you know some more options. And then I'm just gonna do a command V again and paste again and do even some more options. And you'll notice that it kind of snaps around uh, depending on how far away you want these to be. And also right here, you're gonna see that every new item that I've created is a new uh, layer here in my frame too. Okay, so I wanna ask them maybe the color of fur, um, might wanna ask them uh, something like, um, what size is your pet? So if it was like a medium sized pet, small, big. Um, and then we could also ask maybe, um, you know, type of pet where they could choose like cat, dog, bird, and things like that. So maybe instead of color of fur slash feathers, <laughs> you know, if it was a, 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 any other type of pet. So anyway, okay, so this gives the user some information and now when they're done with this, I would want them to, uh, you know, get a generated idea. Like I said, this is not really gonna work, but um, it's just gonna be kind of a, a template. So let me go ahead and make a new frame. I'm just gonna go click back here on frames. I'm gonna make yet another frame. I'm gonna make it somewhat about equidistant away from the other one. And this is where I'm gonna provide their answer. And so let's go ahead and add some text. I'm gonna go ahead and write out uh, your pet's name is, and then I can give them an answer. Let me go ahead and add another piece of text that says Spike. Their answer is Spike. I'm gonna click back on the design tab here. Uh, let's make their answer uh, bright blue. I will give it a little bit larger size and maybe even a thicker font there. And so that's the answer to their, um, their form. Now again, this won't work. It's not actually gonna calculate 
all of these things and give them an answer, this is gonna be static and it will never change because this is really more of a prototype to tell us how it would work rather than actually getting it to function. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this and move this around because I do wanna have a, a big old button at the bottom here that lets us go to the answer over here. So I'm gonna go up and create a new little rectangle. I'm gonna draw it right here and I'm going to make it um, black. Go ahead and make it black and I'm gonna make another text box that says submit and let's make it white and I will also make it bold Next. bold and just make it a little bit bigger so they can actually see it there we go so now when they click the submit button they are going to go to the next tab so the way that I would do that is click on the frame here and then I'll click over here on the prototype tab and this is where we're going to see this little button again this little circle on the side of it so when they submit they're gonna go to this frame okay so on this frame when they click the star they're gonna start and that's gonna take them to this frame when they go to this item here it's gonna take them to this one now you can also create other items on, you know, let's go on the last screen here and do a button that says start over. Text. And I'm going to make that a little bit smaller here. And there we go. One button that says start over. And then I'll make another button that says go back. So now I have two little buttons here if they wanna start, start over. Now if they wanna start over, I can click on the prototype tab here and this will start them back at the beginning. If I want them to go back a screen, I can take that same item and go back a screen. Okay, so now each of these items have some text, they have some images, they have some direction some interactions, and each button kind of takes us to a new screen. So let me go ahead and play this and press the play button up here. It takes me to the star page, press star, allows me to interact with it, press submit. So I can go back, I can start over, and that's a nice little prototype for a little app.